Hello. What's up guys, Shuman here, welcome back to another video. So today, I did not think it would happen so early, but I am basically being forced by fate itself to quit vaping. Now, the reasons for this are, basically, I underestimated the amount of vape juice that I had left, and also, I have been shifting money from account to account because of my move. Um, or getting more specifically cancelling the move because I'm not actually moving out. And what I didn't realize is that for the time being, for at least a week or so, I'm not going to have access to any funds. Now, I cannot, I cannot tell you this is actually a blessing in disguise because I have about two or three days left of my holiday and I've been meaning to at least try not vaping. But now I am literally forced to because I have no juice and I have no means to procure more. So I have not vaped since the morning when I had the one, one or two last puffs and I've been and I've thrown it in the bin. It's amazing how much you get used to it. You get used to it because I've been vaping more or less continuously for the past two or three months and it's only recently that I've actually said, you're right, stop. So I'm used to getting up and going for a walk and then having a vape and then being around the house and having a vape and being at work and being having a vape and visiting people and having a vape. And, and it's like when it's gone, you just have to ignore those those little cravings that basically say, oh, you know, you're about to go out, why don't you, why don't you, do you have your vape with you? Do you have your keys? Do you have your wallet? Do you have your phone? Do you have your vape? What about the vape? <laughs> Where's your vape? And um, I have done this before, but I tell you, nicotine is probably one of the hardest ones to get off of. Um, I have, it, it, it is so, I don't know why, but nicotine is my final weakness. So I might as well try and see how well I do for the next few days. And one of the first things that usually happens is my brain starts to slow down. And um, I'll feel, feel a bit of like head pressure. And I think that's the nicotine, the brain finally get, having the chance, the opportunity to basically push the nicotine out the head. And then after that, I get a surge of motivation. It's just after about day two or day three of not vaping, I get so much motivation. And I think that's because the brain is attempting to recreate those reward systems or those reward feelings from effort, from striving, from achieving. So what I find is that most modern people, they've traded satisfaction for excitement. They want to be excited all the time. They want to be stimulated all the time. They want some kick all the time, all throughout the day, but they don't want the satisfaction of, um, of you know, getting the job done after a long day's work or a long day trying to do something, I don't know, it doesn't have to be work. You know, the, 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 the satisfaction of just getting shit done. And I tell you, when, when, when I've stopped putting nicotine in my system, it's like my brain craves that satisfaction. And I think that when it's not able to get it through nicotine, it's like, all right, get shit done. And I become hyper productive, but only after about day two or day three, because day one is usually just my brain trying to reset. And what I found is that the only way to really be successful um, with the nicotine stuff is to have a plan of what you're going to do, what you're going to eat, where you're going to go and fill it with all sorts of stuff and stick to it because it's like sirens on the sea when you're trying to quit cigarettes or nicotine. You'll have these, you're trying, you need to sail from one direction to the next, right? And there's all these siren calls from either side and they're saying, smoke, <laughs> vape, come on, just one puff. Probably that a really old and uh, transgender siren, um, and I, I found that that's for me. It's like, look, just focus straight ahead on what you need to do because you'll think to yourself, "Oh, I could just have one. Oh, I could probably pick up some. Oh, why don't I ask him? Oh, why I could probably do ah 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 ah, ah. distraction, 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 distraction," and it makes it almost impossible to focus and go straight ahead. So I find with this sort of thing, it's just block out everything, go straight ahead, and I'm actually quite excited because. Quitting vaping is probably is one of those frontiers that I've yet to fully um, breach, and I can't wait to feel the benefits. It's one of those ones where I some of the benefits for me are really great. Just an overall reduction in anxiety because my lungs have opened up, so I'm getting more oxygen in, so I'm breathing. Increases my thinking ability, increases my ability to just you know, general thinking acuity, calms me down. Increases my productivity, makes me feel more motivated, and. Um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, so that's all I've got to say for today. I'm still cleaning up the mess that is my channel and deleting some old videos. And as you can tell, I am it's quite slow. Um, <laughs> and it probably will be for the next six hours, but we'll see about that. Freeman out. This is day one. And peace.